Thoughts 23 here in today's knife therapy. I have two new knives, or at least I hope this is a knife. Definitely have a very, very special knife right here to show y'all that. I actually opened up, I, I was recording it and got through the first flip and realized that my uh, mic wasn't hooked up. So I ruined this one, but y'all gonna see it and I, <laughs> I was flabbergasted when I saw this one. Now this, the only reason I'm pretty certain this is a knife is because it had my name and then it had Stasa 23 after it and that only knife people usually know put that on the boxes um, and I usually get them to do that so I know it's for me but something odd about this box I hope it's nothing expensive because they got tape here but look at this <laughs> and there was something right here that looks like it got ripped off maybe it's a package slip I don't know what that is and I was like, oh, okay, good, it's taped right here. Nope. I don't know if it was sitting like that or what, but we'll, we'll check this one out second, being that I'm, I have no clue what that is. Let's check out this. Now, this is, just wait, wait till you see this. Oh my goodness. So what this is, is the brand new <laughs> limited release quiet carry, um, I think the name was the nine. If I if I mess that up, I'll put it up here. It's something like that. And right away when I saw it, I was like, yep, yep, I want that. So it has this beautiful uh, Arctic Storm. I think this one is fat carbon. And that just looks so good. And if you look closely, I don't know if my camera is focusing on it or not. But it has the, their micro milling they put. Hopefully you can see it right here on the tie. It's got some micro milling there and it goes all the way on to the fat carbon. Um, there, hopefully you can see that. I can see it through, through my viewfinder, but I don't, it doesn't always mean it translates to the actual <coughs> video. And look at that, perfectly contoured. Uh, you can see the milling better on this side. It's got that micro milling on this side. I don't, I doubt it's coming across, but um, whenever I do the full review of this, I will set up the lights better for this one. And then you have a milled titanium clip. It looks like stone washed. Well, that's kind of thin, let's see. It's got some retention there. <laughs> um, I guess it's just right hand tip up only because you don't have a slot on this side. It would have been sweet to have that carbon fiber like on the opposite side right here, but I'm guessing they could. And I like how they, they did this swoop right there. It just looks different. Now, this is what I was wowed. Besides this, this already had my jaw dropping, but the action. <laughs> Look at that blade, too. Now, Quiet Carry was known for making some super buttery smooth uh, knives on phosphor bronze washers, and they, they nailed those. Like, every one of my... Quiet carry knives, and if you haven't seen, I have I think every single model they've ever made. Every single one of them is buttery, silky smooth. Um, they're all drop shut now. They all break in so nicely. Well, this one, they went with bearings, and man, oh man, look at that, yummy! And it's that's the third flip of this knife. Reverse flick, yep, no problem. The detent on this one is dialed in perfection. Look at that. Ergos initially feel great. Um, you got a nice sharpening tool there. Look at that beautiful stone wash. It's very reflective. Blade steel on this is 20 CV. Now, <clears throat> oh, I get this lock access. Look at that. That's how it's done right there. You have these huge slabs of titanium. Nice cutout right there. And this nice and soft spot to uh, disengage that lock. Uh, so I was talking to the owner. We were going back and forth, and I, I was asking him when these sell out, which I don't know if they sold out or not yet, but whenever they sell out, is that it? Because he said this is a limited run. Well, he said this one is, they're not going to make this one again with the fat carbon, but he will make a, uh, I don't know if it's just going to be plain tie, contour tie, or what, what he's going to use, but it's not going to have the fat carbon uh, scale like that. It might be G10. It might not be anything right there. It might just be plain tie with the milling. But i tell you, this thing is nice. 
Oh, I don't understand. This is one thing I don't really understand. They did an excellent job of putting the relief cut out on the inside, but then you have this one right here as well. It would have looked so much cleaner if they wouldn't have put that because it's just barely there. Now, I don't know, maybe because they use such thick slabs of tie, whenever they did that, maybe it had way too much tension on the, uh, the lock. Maybe, I don't know, I'm just speculating there. And maybe they had to do that to relieve some of the tension. <laughs> I'm not a knife maker. Hopefully I will be one day, but not one right now. So that's the first one. If you want to see more of this, my full testing review, uh, stay tuned. Uh, it'll be probably in a week or two. I, I'm trying to catch up with some stuff from the holidays and still trying to put together our giveaway. Well, I got a lot of knives in it right now. <laughs> So let's check out this other box. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued about this other box. No clue. Okay, I guess, let's see. It's heavy, whatever, oh, the box is heavy. Put that to the side. <coughs> what is it? I still don't know what this is. Okay, so, Game Star Studio. Oh, at first when I read that, I was like, maybe it's not a knife, but it does say GS knives, GS knives. Oh, now I know what this is. Okay, I, I, I didn't recall because uh, I talked with this. This is this knife right here is a design collaboration with GS's uh, Get Good Screw from Instagram. They a lot of y'all might know them from like these the uh, drivers they make and stuff like that. Well, <laughs> I was talking with them a while back, and he asked me if I was interested in checking this out. It's a collaboration they did with, oh, what's the name of the company? Uh, oh, yeah, that, that's it right here. The Gamer Star Studio, they're new to the knife scene, and they they asked uh, Get Good Screw if they wanted to do a collaboration. So he said that what they're gonna do <laughs> is be the exclusive dealer for this these knives, or this company's knives that they put out. And they'll be under their curated section because they have a section on their page for curated stuff. Like I bought a uh, Sabenza 21 titanium frag scale from there. And talk about, look at this box. I'm talking away, but super cool. Let's see, how does it, okay, so it opens from this side. You have the little logo right there. Somebody else has that logo, huh? Is that on the, the kick stop or whatever? Is that his? I don't know. But... Very nice presentation so far. You got a nice uh, microfiber cloth here with uh, the both of their uh, names on there. Nice pouch. Nice pouch, folded over pouch. Check it out. So let's see what goodies they give you. Looks like you get a driver. Look at this. Well, that makes sense because it got good screw. What is it? Uh-oh. We have loose bearings in this knife. Look at this. They give you a... a a baggie of loose ceramic bearings. So I'm about to ask him about that. I'm not keen on that just because depending on how it's done, uh, I know my Shiro, when I opened it up the first time, the bearings went everywhere and yeah, it was a big mess. So it looks like they give you, let's see what this is. Super cool. This is really cool. Um, I, I'm, I'm guessing this is a T6 uh, driver to adjust your knife. And it looks like you get a pivot and your body screws. Very nicely done. And I'll, I'll check all that, the hardware and stuff uh, for the review to, so I can let y'all know if it's, you know, titanium or what. And I'll have more information. Maybe I'll do a, a teardown of this if he's okay with it. But let's check out the knife because I vaguely remember what the knife looked like because we talked early December, maybe even... Maybe before that. I think it was I think it was the beginning of December. And my memory is already terrible. So nice pouch. Nice velvet line right lining right there. I do remember the blade shape. <coughs> there was something about the knife that he was telling me about. Oh yeah. Now now I'm it's jogging my memory. So here's a knife. So you have Timascus, it looks like pivot collars. It looks like a Zerk pivot, dome pivot, black and zerk. That looks really nice, but my camera's definitely not gonna do any justice. Um, and looks like you have a, they call it something different, but a Timascus pocket clip. Yeah, that's that's stunning. Now, now I remember what this knife's about. 
So I don't know if y'all have noticed something different about this knife, something that you're not seeing on this knife. So I remember in our conversation, and this is what really got me intrigued about the knife, but let's flip it open so you can see while I'm talking. So there it is, you got a aggressive, uh, like somewhat of a harpoon tanto. That's kind of wicked looking. It 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 kind of reminds me of uh, that collaboration between Null Knives and Carbon, or the, the collaboration that Null Knives is doing right now, except his is, is like a wider, and I don't know, chunkier tanto. But have y'all, hopefully y'all have noticed what's missing from this knife. And yes, it has a backspacer because it's not an integral. There's no screws. So what he told me is, is that um, it's, they have a patent hidden screw design. And that's, that's all he really told me uh, to where the knife wouldn't have any screws, but the pivot. So I'm guessing it's being done by the backspacer. Let's see. Let me get a flashlight so we can look on inside here. Let's see. Is this going to be bright enough? Let's see. Oh, that one's not bright enough. Let me get a brighter one. All right. So hopefully y'all can see inside there. Well, it's not too bright. Uh, there is a, there's a screw right down there at the bottom. And I'm guessing that... If you stuck that little tool in there and unscrewed that, it would allow you to probably remove the backspacer if I had to guess. I don't know, hopefully he'll let me take this apart so I can let y'all know how easy it was or how hard it was. Now it is a liner lock because of the screwless construction. That looks so sweet. Now it is a little bit little bit more weighty because of uh, you know the thick slabs and the... Uh, I'm guessing that's a stainless liner right there, which I'm perfectly fine with. I, I've, I've been really enjoying uh, titanium liner locks a lot. Action on this thing, amazing. Very good action. Ergos initially feel great. They also have a hidden uh, pocket clip screw. I don't even see it in there. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, this kind of stuff interests me. I love it whenever. You have, look, yeah, it is in there. You have companies doing different things, you know, <laughs> whether it be a new locking mechanism or like Kaiser putting their spin on the axis lock, making their clutch lock. I love that stuff. If you don't have innovations, then gets, things get boring. And uh, this is cool. You know, I know there's other knives that do this. They have, uh, I think it was from Koenig, if I remember correctly, that had the 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 screwless design. It was like dovetailed bolt, like um, everything was like dovetailed in there, so it like snapped together, and it was super cool. That was the first time I'd ever seen something like that, and that was shoot, that was seven, eight, nine years ago. And then um, I know recently Reich, uh released that screwless knife, so I don't know if if it's you know that's the same if they did that or what. And maybe that company built the knife. I don't know. I don't know the blade steel on this. I'll have to ask him. I'm guessing. If I have to take a wild guess, it's probably M390. Uh, you have a short grind here. Feels like... I don't know. I don't want to guess. It, it might be a hollow. Um, this is definitely a flat right here. Look at that. Woo! Pick sticker there. I don't love the thumb studs there. They're a little bit slick because of that dome spot right there, but I'd rather them be like this than uh, than sharp. But boy, it doesn't take much, and this thing rockets out. It's got to be, let's see if I can tell. It looks like a cage-bearing system, but I don't know for sure. So yeah, I don't know about y'all. I'm interested to see the insides of this knife. Hopefully, he'll allow me to do that. I'll ask him as well if he'll allow me to test this one. This is a prototype, I'm pretty sure. I don't know when these will be available. I can ask him that also. Like I said, I didn't even know that this was what was going to be in the box because it had been so long ago. Now, <laughs> something I just noticed whenever I had the knife open that there was a dull spot right here. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. It's dull all the way to right there. So I'm guessing. Let's close it up. Yeah. 
being that this is wider than, you know, normal, that edge, you could probably touch it. You know, I can't touch it right now because he probably knocked, they'd probably knock that tip off. I wish they would have just brought the backspacer all the way to like right there and put a channel in it. That would have been super sweet. Because uh, the only thing that I, that I don't like about that is, is when you go to sharpen this, you can already see, you can see how thick it's gotten right there. Yeah. And that's just going to get worse and worse because you're already into that plunge grind. And then they flatten the top right there so you didn't get poked. That's kind of like on my Evo, my uh, CKF Evo. <laughs> you can literally touch that edge and they knocked off some of that edge and that one's probably going to need some adjusting. But, you know, hopefully that's something they can address. <laughs> what they should have done, being that they were already going to like doll that out, is to bring that, that sharpening toil all the way to there so you would have a good sharpening toil and you wouldn't have the flaring in the back right there. So maybe that's something they could do. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if they've already started producing these or not. I, I don't know much yet. So <clears throat> there you go. That is the that are the two beauties, two outstanding, outstanding knives. This one's a it's it's a it's a smaller knife. It's probably I would call it medium maybe. And uh, yeah. So if y'all want to see more of these, definitely stay tuned. I will do the full review and testing of these two as soon as I can get them done. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If you have any questions for them, leave those as well. And if he doesn't see them, I will relay them to him. And yeah, hope y'all having a great one. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.